Did you know that Van Gogh's sunflowers originally looked like this? Yet this is how these paintings appear today. Yellow is notorious for being one of the trickiest colors for artists throughout history. Today's artists have an endless variety of bright and brilliant yellows from which to choose, but for much of art history, this wasn't the case. Inorganic pigments like yellow ochre, Naples yellow, and lead tin yellow have existed for centuries, but lack the brilliance to match the brightest reds and blues. Yellows derived from plant and animal sources like gamboge lack permanence. Modern synthetic inorganic pigments such as chrome yellow were introduced in the 18th and 19th centuries. but as in the case of Van Gogh's sunflowers, were subject to discoloration. In 1831, the introduction of Oriolin, also known as cobalt yellow, represented a hopeful improvement. Highly transparent, it gained greatest acceptance in watercolors, but was also used as a glaze in oils. Within a few decades, colors like cadmium yellow and synthetic organic pigments, including Hansa yellow, were developed. These new bright yellow pigments combine durability with high tinting strength, allowing for cleaner, more vibrant color mixtures, giving artists the ability to use color more boldly than ever before. 